day the door would open, and in would come the crew, turning on lights and waking up Beanie, just like they always do. The days were nice and quiet, so peaceful and serene. Beanie sat atop the paintings, closed her eyes, and dreamed. She imagined what it would be like to go inside the scenes. Hello, my name is Christine Banks, and I am the author and illustrator of the children's book, Adventures of Beanie the Spider. Beanie is an imaginative little spider who dreams about what it would be like to go inside the artwork on the walls of her gallery. Beanie lives in a tiny web, hidden way up high in a corner of a fine art gallery. She absolutely loves her home and art, and spends her days dreaming about going on adventures in her imagination. Just when you think the story has ended, more fun begins, as after the story activities at the end of the book bring you back into Beanie's world and test your observation skills. Beanie likes to share, make new friends, and learn new things, which is why I've created a fun-filled website for Beanie called BeanieTheSpider.com. There you'll find loads of free art-related games, activities, and learning adventures featuring your new friend Beanie. Guardians and teachers, these are printable PDFs you're welcome to download. Check out Beanie the Spider videos, too. Learn about the color wheel, then test your knowledge with educational games and trivia. Try fun art projects, such as brushless painting with a piece of web, or create a whole rainbow with just three colors of crayons. Watch quick art demos or paint along. Get inspired to make your own art or learn more about colors. The Adventures of Beanie the Spider book, combined with its supplemental website, are great ways to introduce children to fine art galleries and inspire them to learn more about the arts. If you want to purchase your very own copy for keeps, visit BeanieTheSpider.com and click on the book to place an order. The Adventures of Beanie the Spider is available at local libraries in the Chicago suburbs and throughout the USA. If your local library doesn't have a copy, you can always request one with your librarian. Don't forget that while you're there, you should check out other books about art and artists, adventures, maybe even about spiders. Keep learning and keep exploring. Let's join Beanie for some behind the scenes fun facts about the book, Adventures of Beanie the Spider. Beanie the Spider is based on a real spider. One day I noticed a spider living in one of my paintings. She had a web in the kelp of an under the sea scene. Much like Beanie, I daydreamed about being a spider that size and used my imagination to pretend I was interacting inside the artwork. Inspiration hit and I started writing the story. Inspiration to illustrate the book came after reading a hundred golden books. When the world stayed home in 2020 and a lot of things were changing, I wanted to stay in touch with my niece and nephews, so we did story times and ended up reading over a hundred stories from my golden book collection. After that, I was inspired to draw out the story and put it into final production to be published and printed. The artwork you see on the walls of Beanie's Gallery are real. I'm a lifelong artist. So when it came time to illustrate my book, I knew I would use real painting somehow. I created artwork specifically for Adventures of Beanie the Spider using acrylic paint on canvas panel, photographing it, then adding it to the book pages using a computer program. Christine has worked in fine art galleries. For several years, I worked in nonprofit art leagues as a gallery director. I had a great time meeting local artists, hanging up artwork, and even submitting my own for competitions. See if your area has an art league near you. While it's true the story was inspired by a real spider, she was referred to simply as Spinne, the German word for spider, and she was never really named. The story uses the name Beanie, which is the name of my cat. That was a lot of information, huh Beanie? How about you Beanie? Looks like we better wrap things up. Thank you so much for visiting with us today. Be sure to add Adventures of Beanie the Spider to your reading collection, and we hope to see you soon. Bye!